हेलो एवरी वन वेरी गुड नून सो डिजिटाइजेशन इज ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग द वर्ल्ड एंड इट्स रीशेपिंग ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द बिजनेस सेक्टर्स फ्रॉम दैट आई हैव बीन टॉकिंग आई हैव आई एम एक्चुअली गोट टॉक टूडे ऑन वन सच सेगमेंट दैट्स द डेंटल सेगमेंट वेयर द डिजिटाइजेशन हैज रियली ट्रांसफॉर्म सम बिजनेस ऑपरेशन यूजिंग ओडो so the talk is towards streamlining the dental practices with odoo centralized solution for 1.5x growth of the company before i start just wanted to give a brief about my company it's brainwire infotech so we are a digital transformation company focusing more on changing the product ideations into reality so we are globally there with our footprints at usa canada uk middle east singapore and india so our software presence is from 12 plus years where we have been serving 2500 plus clients and there is 95% retention besides that we have uh, different accolades which we've got that's inc 5000 deloitte fastest 500 and we have uh, some of uh, we have 200 plus of our customers who have been rating us on clutch platform as well talking about our odoo proficiencies so we have 3d plus odoo resources who are working on different different projects that's 300 plus life projects we have and we've been working upon 120 plus integrations so it's going to be a bidirectional integration with the third party systems the agenda the objective here is to give the end customers a whole end to end process considering the niche industries their own softwares and the odoo software like how the amalgamation can be made about myself i am priyal shah a functional consultant and i have 5 plus years of experience serving into multiple segments that's retail supply chain uh, medical along with that i have been working towards suggesting the system architecture optimizations that's where uh, a key role comes in like which architecture needs to be defined from a system point of view to give the end to end processes which the clients would really love to use upon So before I start upon housekeeping things please scan this so that if you have any questions during the uh, talk you can just type it down so moving back on to uh, the topic again so this is towards a case study so we have been implementing odoo for one of our dental clients who are into dental equipment manufacturing so this case study is towards the orthodontic laboratory odl who who has its footprints in canada and usa and for them the major objective here is to bridge the gap between the doctors who are using a niche software that's the lab software and a fulfillment system that's odu so we've been helping them to bridge the gap so this was the objective with which we started working with them and at the end of it we had a fully functional system which i'll be talking upon in the few later slides so the key discussion points would be focusing more on the challenges what were been faced why we were bound to have a digital transformation for them and after that what brainwire solution proposition was on to suggesting them the best approaches suggesting them how they would be able to do the automation in their processes and get good efficiency from the employees and good revenue and then there are some outcomes which we been identified which which is added so starting from the challenges so the main thing what was in their uh, scenario it was a decentralized architecture in that decentralized architecture they were using quickbooks for accounting there was a niche software with the doctors the practices were using that's easy rx that's case creation or prescription creation system and for managing all these manufacturing of these equipments they were not having that flexibility or visibility 
in terms of having the entire end to end order fulfillment flow so doctors or the practices they were giving those prescriptions here they need to hire more employees to just key in those prescriptions in form of orders and then these orders would be taken ahead for manufacturing and for manufacturing again there was a data management software that's octon which they were using upon so for that data management software it again gave the output which was not integrated with the quickbooks so the invoicing happened in quickbooks and again going back and telling the customers offline that hey your orders customers here i mean the practices or the doctors that hey the equipment you've been ordering upon is over here and you would be getting it in two or three days so all this cases it was a complete uh, decentralized architecture for them it was taking too much to fulfill single single orders which were having not able to have the revenue which was projected upon to get into it and the operational efficiency like employees um, had to do manual work which was also a huge challenge so if i just uh, talk upon the first one mentioned over here is creating the orders based on prescription it's again a manual key in so that's a huge challenge quality was hampering Te technician efficiencies the technicians are the one who actually prepare those so their efficiency was lost manual processes were too much and challenges in terms of capacity planning because if it's a manufacturing there needs to be a capacity planning based on the ship date based on the delivery date there needs to be some planning all these were the huge challenges for them so now to overcome these challenges what exactly brainwire solution proposition was so at brainwire we first understood all these challenges which were there we discussed with them we brainstormed with them and that's where we understood that hey if a doctor is used to using a proper software that's a case creation software i mean changing that is not going to be easy because that's one which they are creating the prescriptions upon for this particular dental industry so what we did is let's do one thing have them work as they are working upon and can't we have some automation wherein these cases or these prescriptions are taken up automatically as orders within o2 so that was one such use case where we started fitting on to our automations so we bridged this gap for them now when this this gap was bridged now when we were actually able to fetch those prescriptions the doctor's prescriptions and we made o2 in a way to be able to understand to read all those components which are there because this is a dynamic product industry a product may not suit every i mean a uh, inventorized product is not going to serve here it's going to be application specific it's going to be patient specific so a product needs to have multiple components within it so this is a kind of dynamic product industry which we call upon so the odoo's readiness was made in a way that they need odoo needs to read all these prescription items they need to read all the small small things which have been mentioned by the doctors and it needs to have a product which exact replicates what the doctors has asked upon once that was done the next thing is now we need to had a proper planning within the system so for that we used odoo's manufacturing module initially we used odoo sales module then we went on to the manufacturing module so within manufacturing we have capacity planning we leveraged this feature by topping up with a ship date so if at all we have a visibility that hey a, a doctor needs this particular equipment or this particular item at a particular ship date we used to update that and based on that visibility system was automatically suggesting that hey based on the planning these are the items which you need to take up for manufacturing first so that was the another gap which we bridged upon in terms of planning after which ways once the planning was done is where we go into the actual manufacturing now again these equipments medical industry equipments they would have their own manufacturing uh, manufacturing way which is done through or they were using octon for this so having that entire process within odu was something uh, not not advisable as well so what we did is we integrated that mes with odu to have odu take care of the other aspects like how the technicians are working the technicians are getting their own job orders and accordingly the uh, the equipments are getting manufactured at their own uh, systems so we did this particular bridging by providing the manufacturing leveraging the shop floor 
and by having the entire end to end uh, order fulfillment through the inventory module they were using ups and usps so odoo provides that connect with that and get that order fulfilled through usps ups to the doctor and not the end customer so that doctor would check it and after checking it let's say if there are any enhancements because there could be chances that there are some slight enhancements or some slight adjustments which needs to be made after the doctor tries on to the um, the patients we also suggested them to have a remake order process so this remake order process we leveraged odoo's manufacturing module and topped it up with some of the uh, intricacies or uh, some of the features which are much needed for this and we made that entire flow at the end in terms of the doctors visibility like how many cases they have been submitting on to and their equipments are when when are their equipments going to come in when they would be able to plan the next appointments for the uh, customers we gave them a kind of portal so that's a doctors portal we leveraged odoo's portal customer portal as the b2b portal and we gave them with this we gave them a tracking tracking uh, tracking end to end tracking you submit your cases you see to it where the item is in terms of manufacturing and at the end once you have it you schedule an appointment with your uh, patients right away from the odoo call them have the uh, appointments been scheduled get them onto the clinic manage their invoicing with odl and with the clients as well with the patients as well through this portal so that was a whole solution proposition which we had in terms of this particular case study next these are some pocs proof of concept to be backing up what i just spoke in terms of the whole solution proposition so if you can look towards on the screen this is automated order creation from ezrx integrations so there we have a prescription that prescription is created by a doctor in ezrx software and that prescription is automatically been created as a code within odoo by taking up all those small uh, things which they have been adding up in the ezrx so that's one step where we are actually creating an order from the ezrx the next is once i have the order we ask the doctors to update the ship i mean update the date like when they are expecting this for uh, to add to have it for their patients once they add it we update it and that's where it showcases uh, it shows on the manufacturing planning sheet so you're able to plan it that hey this is the ship date this are the orders so according to that <coughs> the planning was taken up the manufacturing order was taken up now to fulfill this particular manufacturing order there were several stages so we by we uh, broke the whole manufacturing order into different different work orders every work order assigned to a specific work center that's more towards for a specific technician who is uh, good at performing that particular activity so a kiosk a uh, kiosk mode was created for those technicians wherein they are able to look into it what they have to perform on it and along with that all the specifications were mentioned there were quality alerts based on that if it passes the quality it moves to the next uh, next work center so all these things again there was one challenge which they were facing on that's they were not having any traceability in terms of efficiencies of their own technicians so by using all these features in terms of if you look towards if i start if as a technician i go ahead and start a work order the time tracking of odoo would start when i finish it it would get completed so this is giving me a duration that as a technician how much time i took next way since we are adding a quality alert here so again how much time after taking like let's say 10 15 minutes if my uh, product got uh, rejected from the quality team then again it's uh, having a kpi that's a parameter that hey this is quality failed so that uh, adds to the technician's efficiency report as well next is this which i was talking about the performance efficiency report so generally what can happen is you can assign goals to the employee uh, to the technicians or the employees that hey during a day you need to cover up <coughs> let's say 8 to 10 job orders and these are the goals being set accordingly <coughs> they have number of passed and number of failed as well so taking up that how many are passed how many are failed this per performance efficiency report has been generated 
from the system which gives the technicians uh, the technicians efficiency in regards to their working the next is towards this customer practice portal so this particular practice portal as of now in this use case is providing them regarding the quotations it's providing them how many cases they have submitted the invoices history and all the other things but if i talk about a generic medical industry this portal is actually be go been going to be used in a way where uh, if you have some regular patients coming in this portal can be leveraged in that manner as well for your direct patients so that's one way of taking it ahead uh, apart from what this case study is all about into the medical industry and we could utilize this portal for uh, communicating with the uh, with the actual patients and giving them the right suggestions what they are needing on to managing all the other stuffs within odoo's backend next is a dashboard so odoo is providing these kind of dashboards one such dashboard is a crm dashboard that's more towards the inquiries so you uh, they might get inquiries from several channels so how do these inquiries be taken up and how do we get a projection onto the revenue that uh, this month i'm going to get this much closing this much revenue so for that this crm dashboard is pretty important and again it's important for you to understand the closing stages so you would be able to have the raw materials within it you would be able to plan the manufacturing accordingly the next is again just summarizing it in terms of the uh, key features which are there easy rx integration technician kiosk mode there's a dynamic bomb because it's a uh, dynamic product industry so there needs to be a dynamic bomb custom manufacturing bin manufacturing because it needs to be stored in a proper bin and location uh, barcode scanning uh, product warranty hubspot integrations so their sales team was used to with hubspot and their hubspot was directly integrated with their existing website so as of now we gave them this hubspot integration moving further the plan is to take on to the odoo crm itself and customer portal so if i just talk about this industry and this client then uh, the tangible out outcomes which we have got is 50% reduction in operational cost definitely yes less manual errors and we uh, since the technicians have been assigned goals so they need to perform up to that level so that the efficiency increases in a way decrease in manual inter interventions and increase in productivity if everything is seamless if the automation is there definitely there is going to be an increase in the productivity as well so staff focus has been increased there is a simplified uh, way in which they are able to manage it tracking system is there apart from that the next slide is towards um our odu clientele like which of the other clients which we have been serving upon uh, so particularly in this industry we've been serving upon uh, cure internationals so there uh, we have a hospital management system which we have been working upon then we have bela medical it's again medical security system management system then we have uh, some of our clients where we've done them clinic management as well apart from that the some other big names which are there is mbt shoes ajmal perfumes managing 150 stores for them uh, then we have dell so that's for the real estate so that's for different uh, segments which we have been working upon next is into the uh, questions so i am just open for any questions you have Thank you. Thank you very much for for this great talk. Um so yeah, I will uh, let you if you have questions scan the pads. Um ah, someone this question is coming. We'll wait a little bit. Still waiting the question. No worries. So meanwhile, uh, I would take this at least time to just summarize things so that when the questions yeah. come, I would be Ready. able to attend them. So just summarizing it in a nutshell, this was for a specific dental industry, but we've been working into medical industries where uh, the medical industries needs those HIPAA compliance for hospital management, clinic managements, and the other way, uh, other which ways. So uh, Odoo is capable enough and flexible enough to provide solutions for uh, small clinics. big clinics big hospitals because it has several modules like front desk it has the uh, modules wherein you would be able to do that e sign create the e prescriptions onto it and have 
the ability to manage the invoicing, the inventory is out of that. So that's a generic thing about how uh, we could also help in terms of uh, medical industries because we've been developing upon the HIPAA compliant as well. Yeah, thank you. And uh, the question that was written is uh, in terms of percentage. So you build a lot around Odoo, mm -hmm. but you have some custom as well. How, how much custom was for that specific project? Uh, do you know how much percentage of the product is let's say, custom out of the standards and how big it is maybe? So in terms of, if I just touch base upon this particular client, generally our practice at BrainWire is such that we need to use maximum what Odoo Vanilla gives in through configurations, through uh, default structures, and only if the need arises for that specific business requirement to have the niche processes inhibited into the system is where we add customization. So looking towards that in ODL, we've had around 40% of customization done on top of Odoo, but still we have been trying to have it uh, maximum done by uh, default itself. Okay, yeah, thank you. Um, and I can see here a question maybe about uh, brain Vire. Uh, how, how can you help similar clients? Can you use a bit what you, you, you've been developing here for similar customers? Yeah, so in terms of similar customers, if it's a uh, medical industry equipment manufacturing, we could definitely help in a similar way. But apart from that, as I addressed before as well, it's not just limited to uh, manufacturing of the medical equipments. It has a wide range in which we could help in t uh, help the customers from the medical fraternity coming in for hospitals, for clinics, for uh, their front appointment scheduling, the e-prescriptions, their invoicing, and also if they are good uh, patients, then we can provide them a whole view wherein they would be in connect with the doctors and they would be able to chat it around with them that's through leveraging the Odoo portal we can provide this kind of uh, structures and along with that whatever suggestions have been given by the doctors could be also taken up and framed it in that portal view accordingly yeah. so that's one thing one okay. way of doing it perfect thank you very much I think that's it for the questions I suppose if they have questions they can come to your booth Definitely. So we're there at A10. If there's any further things, we would be happy to help you all. Thank you so much, everyone, for just listening all over here. Thank okay. you.